Okay, so thank you so much for coming to today's webinar. Um, welcome to welcome to how to start a medit how to start meditating. Um, if it's the first time here, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming. Um, this is my second webinar, which is really exciting. Um, right, sorry, I just need to keep a check on the time. Okay, so a guide to start practicing meditation. So we're just gonna give you food for thought. Happiness is part of the mind that experiences peace of the mind. It does not exist outside yourself. Similarly, our problems and suffering are part of the mind that experiences unpleasant feelings. They do not exist outside of yourself. Um, and this is from a book called Happiness um, by a Buddha, uh, Buddha uh, Gatto. And um, I actually went to meditation practice and he gave me this book and signed it as well. Um, I will link that if I can find it online um, in the comment section below. But it's just a little bit of food for thought. Okay, so in today's webinar, we're just gonna check on um, what to expect. So um, we're gonna do a grounding meditation, introduction um, to myself being Miss Kiff, history and um, present meditation, the importance of meditation, the benefits of meditation, how to start meditating. Um, it's a bit of a long one today, but not too long. Different types of meditation, what to expect during meditation, tips during meditation, um, my meditation checklist ritual, useful links, and a thank you. Okay, so I like to start every session of mine by grounding ourselves. So we're just gonna take a moment now just to close the eyes and just focus on the breath. And Wherever you are, just sitting up straight, close your eyes, bring awareness to your breath, notice your chest rise and fall with every inhale and exhale. Keep focusing on your breath. Be aware of where you're sitting and bring your attention to the base of your spine, feeling grounded wherever you're seated. Feeling your legs feel heavy and grounded. Your feet is rooted in the earth. Letting go of anything that doesn't serve you today, being present for the next. 25 minutes. I'd like you to set intention for today. So if you've come here to experience something new or whether you just want to feel that positive energy to allow you to experience. Set that intention now. Keep focusing on the breath. Now allow all those thoughts to fade away, being aware of your surroundings and gently begin to open the eyes. Great, so I always like to start um, a meditation with, um, I mean, my session with meditations because it really just brings us into the present moment and helps us to focus. Okay, so, me being with Skiff, um, remember this is all about you and your journey. I'm simply just the catalyst. Um, my name is Tasha. I'm the founder of Being with Skiff, and um, maybe you've heard of me, maybe you haven't. If it's the first time, hi. Um, I love sharing my experiences and like inspiring others through my experiences through the years of my being. Um, I also love holistic well-being through natural bath bombs or aromatherapy. I also am um, a producer, so I do meditation music. And as I said, I love to create self-help books, almost like this webinar. Um, I also do podcasts and affirmations 
and meditations. So if you want to know more, but bit more about me, uh, go to www.mitkip.com forward slash my story and you'll be able to learn a bit more about me. And if you want to check out what I do as well, just check out www.mitkip.com. Okay, so let's get to it. History on present meditation. So meditation is traditionally very quite ancient. It was founded in India, India in approximately 5,000 to 3,500 BCE. Um, and really throughout the years, it used to be just about Buddhism or Hinduism and or you would only know about meditation through coming uh, through a guru or um, if you were traditionally born into a family like that. And it really has evolved amongst the years. Um, now we can access um, meditations online and anywhere and also it's evolved to now a thing called mindfulness i do think they've labeled it mindfulness and it is in inverted commas because um meditation is looked at as a very traditional sense and i don't think people quite align with the traditional sense but it evolves more on a mindfulness scale where you are practicing awareness um a mindfulness um, is definitely advocated by the NHS through their help and also there's an organization, organization called MIND um, which is a mental health organization and they also advocate mindfulness practice. Okay, so the importance of meditation. If our, so just food for thought again, if our mind is pure and peaceful we will be happy. Until we change our restless disconnected mind we will never find real happiness so again this could be subjective very much personal opinion based but I have literally I did a whole essay about finding in the peace and that was through um, um, loads of books and texts through uh, yoga Buddhism and also um, data online so if you want to check out that particular reading um i will link that down below um if you watch this recap on youtube i will put a link there and on my website and it's called finding in a piece it's a cultural essay i did um but nevertheless um finding in a piece and it really could potentially help mental health with anxiety and stress and really if you tap into the importance of it mental health is rising and this is something that I got from um, I forgot to do a disclosure for anybody who's got triggers please skip right now um, and I will link that as well um, where to skip so just look in the comment section below if you've got any triggers and you suffer from anxiety and stress just skip and we go past into the meditation. Um, okay, so helping our mental health and um, mind actually has given us a little time a table data from 2017. Um, so suicidal thoughts is 20 in 20.6 in 100 people, um, attempts are 6.7 in 100 people, and self harm is 7.3. Um, and also materialistic. So we're too much involved in our materialistic world. That to me personally is my importance of meditation. Um, you can, um, perhaps you can find other data, but I feel like our mental health is so important. And I know this as well because I suffer myself. Okay, so benefits of mental health. Um, well, um, this may help improve the following. So reducing stress, control your anxiety, enhance your self-awareness, increase focus and concentration, improve sleep. Now, if you want to know a bit more benefits, you can go to my bibliography and it's 12 science-based facts of meditation. Um, I, from my personal benefit, I have definitely, it just grounds me. Meditation is so good. It just grounds me and it lets me focus. It improves me, my, my mood. It really changes your perspective as well, which is quite great. Um, okay, so how do we start meditating? 
Now, I would say the most important factor is to um, really know your why. Why do you want to start meditating? Is it because you are going through something at the moment? Are you um, meditating out of curiosity? Just take a moment to just sit down with yourself and discover your why, okay? And then we can move on to the next steps, okay? So meditating can be either sat down. Um, so there's three ways to actually meditate. So you could do the traditional sense, which is crossing your legs, raising your hips off the floor, um, um, maybe putting a little pillow underneath your glutes. Um, and really just drawing the shoulders back, opening your chest and allowing your palms facing up if you want to receive energy or palms facing down on your knees if you want to um, ground yourself and you don't need more energy. Um, and then just gently close your eyes. You can slightly tuck your chin in, but um, usually that is a traditional Buddhism yoga pose. Um, some of us don't particularly like that or can't cross our legs because of our hips, so that's okay. It's more of a mind practice. Um, so you could just sit on a chair, um, ankles straight underneath your knees, um, your uh, feet hip distance apart, drawing your shoulders back, as long as you've got a great posture in it. And again, you can either put your hands down um, on your knees facing downwards or your palms facing up, it's completely up to you. Or some people even try to have their hands in, um, um, the left hand on top of the right hand and a place just underneath their navel to receive some um, some energy as well. Um, or the most easiest, simple form is just to lay on your back. Um, that makes it not, you could just do it anywhere, but bear in mind laying on your back just means you will likely fall asleep. Okay, so the space that you're in is so important. Um, if you're going to meditate, you need to, because you're going to be in a very vulnerable position, you need to make sure the space around you is very, very ambient, peaceful. No one, if you're going to meditate, you say, excuse me, I'm meditating for 15 minutes. Please, can you just not disturb me? Um, just, you want to make sure that you're comfortable as possible because meditating brings you into your most vulnerable um, moment. Okay. Um, now you can add a bit of ambiance to meditation. Sometimes when we have a bit of a crazy mind, we just need some ambiance to keep us grounded. So um, um, you can play some meditative music. I've got some meditative music called Be Still. It's on Spotify. Or um, you can um, buy it on Bandcamp. Uh, I'll link that as well down below um and yeah you can maybe light some incense put on the candle uh, maybe um have some um like clear the air or really just allow yourself to uh, burn some essential oils so there's really you can create your own environment i would say create the environment which is most relaxing to you Okay, so how long do you meditate for? So this is the most easiest way to do it, is set a timer on your phone for five minutes and that's it. That's it, five minutes. Five minutes is nothing. Now, obviously when you stop meditating, it's a bit uncomfortable, so five minutes is great, but maybe do like a week of five minutes every morning and then you change it up. You do 10 minutes and then 15 minutes and then so on and so on until you could sit quietly for an hour which is a bit of a challenge um, and the most important thing about meditating when you close your eyes is to breathe your breath is your uh, anchor it's your everything you know breath work with all you do is you inhale for three exhale for three just keep breathing keep breathing keep breathing keep breathing and just allow it to not overthink but just gradually um, allow yourself to relax um, and be just observant of what comes up. 
don't try to judge anything. Don't try to judge yourself. Don't try to overthink. Just let it be. Now, obviously, when you start mating, uh, meditating, <laughs> uh, whoops. Um, okay, I'm just going to skip to this slide um, because I have just changed my mind, which is okay. Um, so when you are meditating you are going to experience some things and it's good for me um sometimes people don't really mention this part about meditation which is so important because trust me when i started meditating this did happen sometimes you could be uncomfortable maybe you are resisting this experience and you think you know what i don't want to meditate i don't want to be here um or i'm just not in the mood for it so you start thinking uncomfortable um it's a natural state to be so you're gonna resist it somehow anyway if you're laying on your back you could potentially fall asleep or you your mind could be just that busy that you think oh my goodness why aren't i finding this a magic like magic euphoria and um why can't i be still um but uh, or you could be restless as well but just remember that eventually over a long period of time all your thoughts will go okay just it depends how much like every experience is unique and this is something as well that's very important every experience is unique and it depends maybe it takes you three times maybe it takes you four times maybe it takes you the 12th time in your meditation to feel peaceful um this is yeah, this is just a process that you need to trust. For it could potentially bring up baggage. So if you've got emotional baggage that you have been carrying on for years and years and years and years, and you decide to sit down and keep quiet and relax and be all good, this tends to stir some emotions. And sometimes it can bring it on, not the first day, not the second day, but it could be a post side effect to meditation. Um, don't look at it as a negative, look at it as a positive because releasing emotion allows you to be more peaceful. Remember, the whole point is to be happy and to um, relax and center yourself. So getting rid of that emotional baggage is a positive, not a negative. Um, but just be mindful of that. So I just want to tap into the different types of meditation. So um, when you start meditating and if you had to go to like a meditation class or if you find some meditations online, you go, oh, this is weird. This is not the meditation I'm used to. I just want to bring you your awareness to these types of meditations. So first of all, different types of meditation is um, you've got guided meditation, which is you've got instructor, which I just did at the beginning of this class. I instructed you, um, which I tell you what to do. Um, or you've got pratihara, which is withdrawal of the senses. So meaning of the senses of the external senses which is of the eight limbs of yoga uh, from Patanjali um, it's removing all the obstacles in front of us in our everyday life and bringing with more of the senses internally like um, trying to feel your uh, the movement of the diaphragm or um, your breath and it's really just more of internal practice Shavasana which you might have heard from is a yoga um, um, you just lay on your back and it literally just guides you through the different parts of your body. So that's more concentration. So allows you just to relax. Um, yoga Nidra, which is a yogi sleep. This is a very longer practice. Exceptional. Like if you've ever want to do a type of yoga, you should, I mean, a meditation, you should do Yoga Nidra. It's fantastic. It's really powerful. And um, it allows you just to, it takes you through different motions and it's, it's awesome. Um, affirmation as well. So you could do a very much affirmation-based yoga, um, sorry, meditation practice. I've got the word yoga in my head now. Um, so they could um, allow yourself to calm. Uh, so you ground yourself first. So just focusing on the breath and then you take yourself through different affirmations. So um, like I am grounded with my spirit um, um, grounded deep in the earth 
I am calm, strong, centered, and peaceful, something like that. Um, that's quite a good one. I love doing affirmation meditations. Mantras is finding your own mantras or chants. So you can do lam or om, which is vibrational. Um, and that's definitely got to do more, more traditional, but it's, I, I predict this is, these are all the types of meditations I really like. Um, Vipassana silence, this is like the hardest one because the other ones are all distracting, okay? Because that's the whole point. Meditation is about distracting you from your chaos so that you can focus on something so that you can carry on. But being silent, whew, being silent is can drive someone crazy because your mind could just go off on a tangent. Um, but not literally crazy, but just you get a bit irritated that your mind is overworking um, the first couple of meditation sessions. But after that, it's amazing. Um, I would say even in a way like being in quarantine, loads of people are um, feeling this shift. It's a bit, oh, I don't know what to do with myself. Um, moving meditation, this is also something like people don't consider as meditation, but I do because when you're doing a sport and you are in it, no distractions, you are fully concentrating. The term concentrating is the key word here. When you're fully concentrating, you then um, really go into this weird trance state. I don't know if you've ever done something and it's like three hours gone by and you're like, whoa, this is crazy. Like, how did this happen? That's the whole point of um, moving meditation. Or you could be just guiding by focusing on your hands and moving. It's really cool. So yeah, just a bit of food for thought there. So with all that information, um, tips during meditation. So most importantly, you want to keep still, okay? Um, if you feel, because sometimes you could have like an itchy neck or you can have an itchy leg, just don't scratch it, just observe. And that's the hardest. This is, this is, meditation is actually quite easy, but quite hard at the same time. So trust the process, allow yourself just to let go, okay? The process has been done for ancient years and now has been brought into modern, modern society and there's a reason for it. So just trust the process. Always know that you are safe. Always know when things get uncomfortable, you can just open your eyes, take a deep breath, allow yourself to be in that dip. Be mindful of what sensations come up. So really just, I like to journal when I meditate because every experience is different and I like to journal. And it really just helps me work through any kind of trauma or any um, mindful aspects that I need to focus on in that moment, it just helps me then and there, which is awesome. Uh, keep focusing in the breath. So if things start coming up, just detach, focus, 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 and let go. Um, if you do have a meditation experience and you want to share with me or even somebody, but you want to share with someone because it's quite a personal experience uh know that you can always contact me on social media and i'm happy to chat with you or even on my email address which, email address which is info at miskiff.com i'm happy to answer any questions and help you through this okay so i have a brilliant um, gift for you and I know maybe some of you really have this already but if you don't the link will be in the, the description of the replay again and who's ever watching this right now will be able to get a um, an email link with the um, the checklist and um, this meditation slides as well so I've designed a little med meditate ritual for you um, and one second oops okay so the meditation ritual checklist you can start tomorrow or tonight there's no time like the present i always like to action things straight away rather than let them um be um you can download this pdf for free as this is like i said it's a gift my gift to you i've designed it for you um it's like a little go-to checklist just as you start meditating um and 
also um, on the checklist you have you can tick whether you want to sit down or uh, lay down or sit yeah sit down or lay down uh, your quiet space have you got music, no music, light some incense, or don't have a crystal to enhance your experience? I will be doing crystals a meditation um, webinar later on, so bear in mind just to check that. But if you are into crystals, you can have um, your crystals with you. Make sure your phone is on airplane mode, no distractions. It's a great way to detach. What is your intention? So always set your intention for your meditation practice just before so that you know um, what you want to work on or if you don't just allow yourself to set intention to let go um, how long will you meditate for so just make a little note okay I'm doing five minutes today or I'm doing 15 minutes or um, you just set that for yourself then I have a little meditation doodle area so if you feel like you want to write anything there um, you can and then remember to always know how you feel are you distracted are you present be aware um, that is such a great way as well. Okay. Um, so, right. If you are um, on social media, you can hashtag meditation Kipner so I could see you checking in with me and get a friend as well to join you. Um, it's good to have someone accountable with you so that it's a great experience. Okay. So useful links, I am, um, I have a patron page, which is www.patreon.com forward slash being Miss Kiff. And um, that is a bit more extra content. So if you like what I do, I do have an offer at the moment at um, $1 a month for patrons. You can have access to a seven day uh, meditation. And um, there is my, all my music and my workbooks, all of that is downloadable um, including that membership I do have um, the membership expiring soon so please check that out um, and uh, if you want to check in with me on YouTube Facebook Instagram I do so much more uh, content and um, you can check out at being Miss Kiff I also do live uh, weekly energy card readings. So this is just to give you food for thought. I actually did an intention of April 2020 reading on my YouTube channel yesterday. So please check that out. It's so awesome. Like I literally, it gave me life because it's all about creating and manifesting for this, um, this next month. And as I said before, you know, my website, my music, as I talk, spoke about before, just check that out there. And I also do a self-help podcast as well on Spotify, which can be streamed. Again, you can always contact me on info at misskiff.com if you want to request any special webinars or if you just want to get in contact, I'm always here for you. Okay, so today we won't have any Q&A just because it is extended um, webinar and um, I am going to be running out of time, but that's okay. If you have any questions, please contact me directly on info at misskiff.com or on social media um, or comment down below if you're watching this on YouTube. And for checking in today, I'm so happy and grateful that you are here right now and you have taken this time for yourself because you deserve better. And another thing with meditation, it helps you manifest. It helps you really attract what you deserve by connecting to your higher self, which is your seventh chakra. Um, it really connects you and allows you to find that creativity, find that passion to then move forward. And the tools just come naturally. It's a really good process. Um, I, I swear by it. Um, that's why I live my whole life by it. Okay. So, um, just a special thank you for checking in today. You get a 30% off discount code for all my workbooks on my website, um, which is Gratitude City. So check that out. And um, if you like this webinar, again, I'm very open to donations. Um, you can choose whether um, this is worth a donation or not. And yeah, so I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by today. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and namaste.